Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now today we're looking at the latest NVIDIA game ready driver version 572.16. This of course features the new DLSS override option and we're going to be messing around with that today, hopefully upscaling a few games from 480p just to see how good they look on my 1440p display. So I'm using an RTX 4060, man could not find a 50 series card and to be honest they are pretty expensive and scarce at the moment so I thought I'd do it with something a little more affordable. So I'd recommend a fresh install um, of the drivers and the NVIDIA app. Now when you open the app you're going to see this um, as well as a picture of, of a card that you probably can't find at the moment. Uh, we're going to click graphics down the side here and here we're going to see all of our installed games. You might want to click refresh just to make sure everything has been picked up. I did read yesterday that a few people were having issues with their games being recognized but as I say I recommend a fresh install of the drivers and the app. So if we take Baldur's Gate 3 here to start with for example it's going to say it's probably going to say game isn't optimized unless you've optimized it before. This is basically because I haven't let uh, Nvidia mess with my settings from within the app but this is not important. What we're going to want to do is go down to driver settings here and you should see this new option, which reads DLSS override models preset. If we click here under the description, it's going to say allows you to override your DLSS games or apps to the latest models. So we're going to click this, the DLSS override models preset, where it says use the 3D application setting. And all we're going to do is change this to latest. And it's as simple as that. Now we do have another option here, use different settings for each technology. And this allows us to mess with frame gen, ray reconstruction and super resolution, which is DLSS, but we're just gonna keep things simple. And we may be um, unable to mess with a few of these settings depending on the game and the GPU as well. But this should work with all RTX cards. Uh, so it's as simple as that. And we should be good to go in Baldur's Gate 3. And it's basically the same for all of these. If we pick Red Dead Redemption, Again, we scroll down to DLSS override models preset, click here, click here, click latest, click apply. This should switch our current DLSS version out for the latest version. I have a feeling it's gonna affect performance negatively, but the picture quality should be improved to a point where we can get away with using a more aggressive DLSS preset as I demonstrated in my Cyberpunk DLSS 4 video with the 30, 50 and 40, 60. But let's get into a few games and uh, run them at 480p upscaled to 1440p to see what sort of image quality and performance we get. Now, despite showing you how to use this with Baldur's Gate 3, that's not actually a game we're testing today because we don't have an ultra performance mode to choose from. And I really wanted to see this in action at 480p. Instead then, let's talk about the games we are testing starting with The Witcher 3. As you can see, the image on the right with DLSS override enabled looks a lot sharper. That tree in the background particularly looks good. You can see the individual branches a bit better. As expected, we do see some performance loss. The frame rate has pretty much dipped across the board. The same thing happened in Cyberpunk when I tested this earlier in the week with the new Transformer DLSS mode. If we move on to Indiana Jones now, I quickly throw up a uh, short bit of gameplay with the old mode and then the new mode. You probably can't tell too much from that, but again, if we look at the side-by-side -side shots, uh, despite being limited to the low settings with the 4060, I think we can still see some differences. For example, the building in the background there does look a little sharper. If you look at the details around the windows, the trees are a bit of a mess in both because we are limited to low. But a game whereby the difference is more noticeable, just like in The Witcher 3, is with Starfield. Again, I think perhaps because we aren't limited to a lower setting, we've gone for high here with DLSS Ultra Performance, of course. Again, the performance does dip a little bit, but looking at the side-by-side -side shots and things like the two aerials in the distance, if you look towards the left of the screen, just under the words uh, DLSS on the right and default on the left, you can see that there are two aerials sticking up, which are a lot clearer on the right-hand side. And there are less jagged edges around the cables that run across the screen as well. It's a clearer image overall. 
Finally then, before we get into the gameplay, we have Red Dead Redemption 2. Again, a before and then after shot, looking at the side-by-side -side results. And this one is where the new DLSS mode really stands out too. Again, that tree in the background, a lot sharper with the new override mode and a lot less jagged edges surrounding it and the other trees in the foreground too. There is lots of grass in this game and it looks a lot better with the new override mode. As I say though, performance does drop across the board with the 4060 in the system. All right, now to finalize, I thought we'd just play through a few of these games with uh, DLSS for ultra performance enabled after swapping uh, the standard default DLSS in each game with the override option. And we'll start with uh, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. I think this looks really good. I want to talk about a few of the things I noticed with each game as well. Uh, perhaps there are artifacts flickering ghosting things like that with this first one there is definitely a noticeable sort of ghosting effect around Indy's hair here and it's something that is also noticeable around certain objects this fence for example while the fence itself looks a lot better than it did with the previous DLSS the barbed wire on the top is a little bit pixelated it's a bit blurry but to be honest we don't really need the ultra performance DLSS preset I just wanted to use it to see how well things ran uh, with the card and just to see if it was actually playable and I think it is it looks a lot better than the default DLSS version and the same goes for all of the games tested Red Dead Redemption 2, as we previously discussed as well, looks really good in terms of the foliage and trees. Again, a little bit of ghosting, a little bit of pixelation around Arthur's hair here, which is noticeable when we move. Probably not as noticeable if he had a hat on, to be honest. I don't know where that's gone. I've obviously lost it. Trees in the distance look really good as well. No flickering, no shimmering. Um, what I will say as well is up close, certain grassy areas look a lot better. You will still notice a few effects in areas whereby there's a lot of uh, grass clumped together uh, with the ultra performance preset, but it's a big improvement over the default DLSS option. What did I do to deserve that? I literally just freed the horse and he's kicked me in the head. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I am actually surprised at how good uh, ultra performance DLSS looks when we set the override mode to enabled from within the NVIDIA app. I can't really fault Starfield visually. Again, I think there are a few areas with the ultra performance preset, of course, where we do notice a few little issues, perhaps a bit of pixelation around certain overhead wires as we're moving around here. But to be honest, it's not that noticeable at all, as you saw from the comparative side by side results just now. Here we are in Aquila, and this looks really good, really sharp. It's again, a much better implementation than the default DLSS mode and uh, hopefully some of that is coming through on the video uh, after compression and all that. I have uploaded this in 1440p, so hopefully it helps. This is actually a game that does benefit from the ultra performance preset with 1440p because it doesn't run too well on the 4060 at all with frequent dips below 60 FPS, and that's something we're still experiencing with the ultra performance mode enabled too. I think The Witcher 3 is another good example, but just like in Red Dead Redemption in areas with lots of grass, we do notice a few effects around certain patches, but it is much improved over the default DLSS. And what I was particularly surprised about is in this, there's a cornfield over here. With the old DLSS, it turned into a bit of a blurry pixelated mess, but here with the override preset enabled, everything is actually far more distinguishable individually. It's not just one big mass of yellow. <laughs> it actually looks individual, crisp, and pretty pleasant on the eye, even with the ultra performance upscaling from 480p um, on the 4060 here. I think there are some games that are gonna say unsupported. Multiplayer games, I think I couldn't get Black Ops 6 to use this function, at least not when I tested it out earlier in the day. I haven't looked too much in depth at the other features as well, whether or not they're exclusive to 50 series cards. Um, but in terms of using this budget or modern budget card, the 4060, I am pretty happy with the uh, DLSS 4. It's a pretty cool feature to have and I definitely suggest trying it out for yourselves. But as for this one, thanks for watching. I hope it's helpful. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.